Hey guys, so we're outside the school, uh, over near the sheriff's now. So uh, over here is all the sheriff's academy, and then back over there is our fire tech classrooms and fire academy and EMS. So this particular uh, system for the sprinkler serves both buildings. It serves the whole thing, and the. Uh, you can't see it from the angle I have you at, but there's a bell over there, and the riser is inside the building just behind this wall. But what we're going to start with here is, this is called an os and y the outside screw, or some people say stem, but it's screw, and yoke, outside screw and yoke, and when it's outside, that indicates that it's open. There's a gate that goes up and down in this valve. Now this is also a double check valve device that keeps the gross water that's in the sprinkler system that's been sitting there for three to four years from going back into our domestic water so you don't drink water that's polluted. So this is a, a double check valve device plus it's how we turn on and off the uh, sprinkler system from outside. Now if you notice, it's chained with a breakaway lock that can, firefighters can break this away pretty easily. Um, with the bolt cutters, real easy. Uh, but this is so that, uh, you know, kids don't mess with it. Somebody who really wants to turn it off will cut this and start turning. Well, just in case they do, remember we talked about in fire alarm system, a system trouble, or I'm sorry, a, a system, a supervisory alarm. See this right here, and this right here? This is a tamper device. So if somebody starts to turn this and, and shut down the sprinkler system, this guy will send a message to the fire alarm company, the monitoring station, and they'll know, hey, somebody's shutting down the system. Now, if a, a, a maintenance man was going to work on the system, or if we were testing it for its five-year test, they, yes, they do have to be tested every five years, the whole system. Well, we call the alarm company and say, hey, this is uh, Ventura County Fire Department. I'm witnessing a five-year test. Uh, such and such uh, sprinkler company is here, and we're going to shut down the system. And then they know and they don't call the fire department for something that they didn't need to be called for. So they just, uh, you know, ready, tidy, turn this, screw goes down. So if you can't see the screw, that means it's closed. So in a sense, this is, remember we talked about with our valves, there are indicating valves and then there are non-indicating valves. Well, this is considered an indicating valve because just by looking at it, you can tell if it's open or shut. So now there's another part to this system. Let me make sure I've told you everything. You can see a little plumbing coming around over here. So the water comes in from there and is going that way. How do I know that? Well, this goes to the fire department connection and I'll show you that in just a second. So this pipe, if we're going to add water, we want to add it on the other side of the check valve device so that none of this water goes back into domestic. So this is going to where we would connect our hoses to increase the pressure and the flow uh, this way, and it'll go in here, underground, up into the riser, and up into the sprinklers. So we're going to switch views now, and now you can see the... Uh, Post indicator valve, also called a PID, and it's indicating it says open. Now, this plastic thing is starting to really show some corrosion from sun, but if we turned it, it would say shut. So it says open or shut. So it's an indicating valve, also post indicator valve. It's another way we can turn down the turn off the whole system from here, and this is usually what uh, this is always what the firefighters will use if they need to shut the system down. They'll shut it down at the post indicator valve. 
not mess with the outside uh, screwing up. And then uh, I'm going to cross over, excuse me for stepping through the view here, but this is our fire department connection. So uh, when the engine companies arrive, if we do have a fire, we want to boost the pressure and the flow to those sprinklers. So we'll connect to one of the hydrants here on location, and they'll connect one or two, probably both, two and a half inch lines. Usually they pump at about 150 PSI. These are uh, breakaway caps, but you can easily just uh, loosen these nuts here and uh, take it off. And then um, uh, we boost the pressure and it goes into the system and increases the amount of flow and the amount of PSI. Now, uh, another issue here, this is something when we're doing fire inspections, we always want to make sure these covers are on here. Because when the covers aren't on, uh, it's just human nature. People shove things in there, especially on school campuses and stuff. Kids will, you know, we found burritos in there. You, you name it, we found it in there. So uh, if you uh, are going to connect to an FDC, Take a look inside before you connect and make sure there isn't a bunch of trash in there. Pull it out if there is, because uh, you don't want that clogging up the system. Okay, well that's it. That's uh, Fire Department Connection, uh, abbreviated FDC, post indicator valve, abbreviated PIV. You also saw the valves outside stem and yoke, or outside screw and yoke, uh, there again. So that is all the parts that we have outside for a uh, sprinkler system. You know what, before I go, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to switch. Nope, I want this camera. And I'm going to turn this. So you can see there, that's the bell. And if that gong is ringing, that means that the sprinkler system is flowing. That is a, a water flow gong. Okay, you see it there? So uh, on the other side of that wall is the riser. Okay, that's it.